Yo yo yo, it's your boy Jimmy back at you with another Elden Ring video and in this video it's just a small guide of how we can obtain some runes early on. Do want to advise you that in this video it's just a guide of how you can get some runes and this isn't very long term so if you're looking to get really high levels I don't recommend this but this is more of a guide just to fairly new players who don't really know how to get a few runes early on and it's just to like get a couple of levels in, get a few items just to make the game a bit easier as you progress. So without further ado, let's jump in. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to head to the third church of Marika, just to the right of Limgrave. And once you spawn there, you just want to be facing the, to the back of the church and then there should be a little gap in the wall to the left, as you see here. You want to go through these bushes just past this tree and then you want to drop down here then go right and then it should lead you to a dead end but when you get to the dead end there will be a little teleportation as you can see just showing you again on the map here for the church of marika and once you found this teleportation you, will, you want to go through there then once you go through there it will take you to this place Dragon's Barrow, watch and just skip this boss. You want to run down to the bottom. To the grey side, it's going to be the area where we're going to be doing the room farm. Uh, you want a you know, good save and you don't want to be too far away every time you go. So this grey side is actually in a really good position. So yeah, once you get there, um, that's kind of when we'll start the next process now we're at the grey side what you want to do is you want to head just at the top of the hill at the right hand side and you want to make sure you're in the steep position because what we're what the, we're planning to do is basically attack these little guys that we ran past a second ago you want to do a sneak attack and as soon as they get up you want to hold down the right attack and hopefully it should kill them in one obviously with my animation with my swords it is very uh it's very quick so it does kill them in one but i'm sure if you use a right attack of whatever you've got or if you're a mage or whatever build you're going for it should be enough to should be enough to kill them and as you can see we've gained 1000 roots just like one guy so you can imagine the potential of how many roots you can earn uh, for just killing these guys. Okay, again, you want to do then. So there's two guys up here. There are some guys around the corner, but they're grouped as three. What you want to do is you want to avoid the groups because they are very vicious and quite hard to kill when you are a low level. All of them at once. So I try to avoid the groups and I try and I try to just take them one at a time and make making sure that we get that sneak attack off as our first initial attack. As you can see I died I'm trying to do this but yeah. So you just want to sneak attack. Do that. As soon as you do that, lock on again, do the right attack or whatever damage type you do. And that should be enough to kill him. As you can see I missed at the end, which is you know very skillful of me. And again there's one more over here. Again, just making sure we get that sneak attack as our first point of attack. Down, lock on, hold your your type of attack, your attack type. Done. And then all this uh, farming guide is just rinse and repeat. Obviously, the quicker you do it, the more runes you're going to gain. But you know, this is only a short six six to seven minute video, so um, if you can take the tips I've given you in this guide uh, you may be able to do it a lot quicker than this video but it's just just a little guy that can help you just get some runes early on like I said at the start of the video this guide isn't for getting loads of runes to give you massive levels later on in the game this is just to gain a couple of thousand runes uh, just to get you set up get some good items just so when you are moving area, different areas of the map then it's not going to be as hard because you'll be fully equipped with everything you need and then now we've killed these guys there are some more at the top 
So what you want to do is you jump on your horse, or you can run if you want, but if you get on your horse it's just more efficient. Then there is another guy just located by this tree, and there is one to the path just left of the tree. And again, just making sure we get that sneak attack off as our first point of attack. And now he's looking the other way. Let's go, go, go. Boom. Finish him. <laughs> then, yeah, just because there are more groups of three up here, so just try and find them when they're on their own. And yeah, this is pretty much the guide. I hope this guide is very useful. If you do find some pointers. If there's anything you did like or don't like, just leave a comment. Um, or anything that I may have missed, or anything, that, any tips that you may you may notice or want to share. Um, but yeah, I, I hope uh, you like you like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe because there will be more guides coming out uh, in the next couple of weeks or so. But yeah. I'll let you keep watching and enjoy.